The Weeride Kangaroo, also known as the Kazam Kangaroo or the Kazam Wallaby, was one of the earliest baby bike seats on the market and continues to be one of the most popular. But is this budget-friendly seat the best option for you, your bike, and your child? While there are a lot of things to consider about the Kangaroo, in this review, we'll cover what we believe to be the four most important features you need to consider before you make a purchase decision. Number one, center mounting system has pros and cons. The We Ride Kangaroo seat, meant for toddlers 12 months to 33 pounds, has a mounting system that is different than any other baby bike seat. Most traditional front-mounted seats have a mounting bracket that attaches to the headset of the bike. The Kangaroo's mounting system places a bar in between your seat post and your head tube, which is right below the headset. So what are the pros of this setup? While most front mount seats turn with the handlebars, the We Ride Kangaroo stays stationary and centered on your bike when you turn. Your baby's weight never moves, which is a huge bonus for your center of gravity and balance. The Kangaroo also centers the child's weight over the bike's frame rather than more forward on the handlebars. This makes balancing while riding with your child much more natural. For parents who are more timid at biking themselves, this can be a huge help. But on the flip side, because the kangaroo sits closer to the adult rider than other front mount bike seats, the child is much more in your way. This positioning creates a real obstacle for pedaling, making tight turns, or getting on and off the bike. The kangaroo's placement, as well as its wide profile and square back, make it significantly more bulky and obtrusive than other front mounted seats like the Thule Yep Next Mini or Peg Perego Orion. We found this fine for short rides around the neighborhood, but not the most comfortable option for longer rides. Number two, mounting the seat takes time and tools. Most child and baby bike seats have a quick release mechanism that allows you to remove or install the seat in seconds so you can easily ride with or without the seat on your bike. The We Ride Kangaroo does not have a quick release and requires five to 10 minutes to get on or off. If you often go back and forth between riding with and without your child, you should consider a different seat that does have a quick release. Number three, does the kangaroo fit on your bike? The We Ride Kangaroo's mounting bar attaches in two places on your bike, the seat post in the rear and the head tube in the front. In order for the kangaroo to fit on your bike, there must be a minimum level of clearance, about five millimeters according to our measurements, on your seat post and at the top of your bike's head tube for the mounting clamps. Half of our adult fleet of bikes did not have enough room on the head tube to mount the kangaroo this way. And in case you're wondering, you cannot mount the front clamp to your bike's handlebar stem because it would prevent you from being able to turn the handlebars. But if you don't have enough room on your head tube to mount, the Kangaroo has an optional mounting adapter for threadless headsets. The adapter consists of a single spacer that you install on your steer tube as a replacement for one of the current spacers. Be aware that this requires you to remove your handlebars to install the spacer, so you may need to have your local bike shop help you. And an important note, the Kangaroo is not compatible with bikes that have handlebars that sweep back. Since the seat stays put during a turn, the handlebar grips can actually swing around and hit the child when turning. Number four, the shoulder straps slide down. Shoulder straps on lower end child bike seats are notorious for sliding off a child's shoulders. Without the shoulder straps securely positioned on top of a child's shoulders, the effectiveness of the whole bike seat harness is certainly weakened. Strap sliding down is usually the result of the insertion points for the shoulder straps being too low. When the straps start too low on the back, they have to first travel up to the top of the child's shoulders and then back down to the buckle. As a result, the straps can easily and quickly fall off. To combat this problem, Kazam includes a small Velcro shoulder tension strap to prevent the shoulder straps from sliding off the shoulders. Unfortunately, we didn't find the solution to work very well. The straps still fall down unless the tension strap is high on the shoulder blades, but there's no way to keep the tension strap high. It slides down just like the shoulder straps themselves. So what's the bottom line on the We Ride Kangaroo? The Kangaroo certainly has its flaws, but for less than a night at the movies for a family of six, it's also a bang for your buck. If you're just planning on riding short distances around the neighborhood, the We Ride Kangaroo is an affordable way to begin riding bikes with your little one. Especially for parents who are a bit nervous about riding their bike with their child, the Kangaroo's centered, stationary placement makes balancing considerably easier.